Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book here, the GRE General Test, 10th edition. Practicing to take the GRE General Test, 10th edition. You must have this book in, with you, in front of you. You must own this book if you do not own it already. Purchase one immediately if you are practicing to take the GRE, if you're getting ready to take the GRE, if you're preparing for the, to take the exam, is what I meant. Because there is no such thing as a preparation for GRE without this book, as I emphasize always already, uh, as I emphasize al always in my previous clips, you must have it. Don't, don't waste your time and your money uh, buying all the other products in the market which are fake exams. Why should you buy a fake exam when you, have, when you, have, uh, when you can just as well practice on a real exam? That's what you want to have. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 123 out of that book here. GRE, 10th edition, page number 123 out of this book here. Quantitative comparison, question number 5. Quantitative comparison is what QC stands for. These are called quantitative comparison and not computation. We are not asked to compute everything. We are simply asked to compare the two things. Big difference. Number 5. Let's see. We are told that 0 is less than r, which is less than t. And then we are asked to compare r over t versus t over r. Let's see which quantity is bigger. Let's plug in some numbers here. You should immediately see that if r is less than t, then if r is on the, on the top and t is on the bottom and this guy is less than this, this quantity is going to be less than 1. And if t is more than r, if this quantity is more than this quantity, this quantity is going to be more than 1. But we're going to do it, I'm going to show you here. That's all. This is less than 1. Because r, we are told, is less than t. This quantity on the top is less than this quantity. If the quantity on the top is less than the quantity on the bottom, the fraction is less than 1. Notice how I kept avoiding using the terminologies, because I don't want to make it too geeky, but the quantity on the top is referred as a numerator, quantity on the bottom is referred as a denominator, but you don't have to remember it, you don't have to know this thing. Nobody ask, nobody's going to ask you in the exam, as long as you understand the concept. Let's plug in numbers here. How about 2 and 3? So if I plug in 2 and 3, r over t becomes 2 thirds, and t over r becomes 3 halves. As you can see right away, the 3 halves is more than 1. This is less than 1. Therefore, since that is more than 1, the answer is B. That's all. We are done. It's a simple question. It's only number 5. It's supposed to be an easy question. Take a look at number 6. That's it. We are done. I'm going to erase it now. Number 6. Let's see what number 6 says. In number 6, we, have, we are given a picture. This is 55 degrees we are told, this is x, and the question is which one is bigger, x or 35. That is my x actually. I know you may not like it. So what do I do here? Well we know that we know that sum of the angle, SU and sum, sum of all the angles of all all three angles. In any triangle is 180. In any triangle, doesn't have to be right angle triangle. In any shape of triangle, the sum of all three angles has to be 180. This we are told is 90, which means this guy, whatever it is, has to be not, whatever is left from the other 90. 90 minus 55 is what this guy is. This guy is 90 minus 55. If you can tell me how much is 90 minus 55, you're home free. I know 90 minus 60 is 30. If 90 minus 60 is 30, then 90 minus 55 has to be more, 5 more than 30, it's 35. So this is also 35, the answer is C. That's it, we're done. I'll do two problems in each clip, so keep it simple. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to buy the solutions manual to all the problems in this book, there are seven exams in this book. If you wish to buy the solution manuals to any of these problems in this book, or if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, in either case, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, -E -P, -E 
www.ashkenazi.com and send me an email. All right? Thank you.